By the way, we, money might be fake now. Money might be falling apart, right? Oh, how many, yeah. That's... How many banks have collapsed now? Oh, Wait, that's happening today? Sure. I don't know. I was trying to follow up. How many banks have collapsed? It's at least two, correct? It was at least two. It might have been three. And I don't know what happened today with the... I was on a plane with the guy who was talking about this yesterday. Yeah. So, it's, so the Silicon Valley one collapsed, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so a bunch of Silicon Valley... Yeah. This is like 2008 all over again. I don't know. See, this is part of the problem with being financially ignorant, which is I am. Oh. I don't know. And also being friends with Alex Jones, which I am, which fucks so I get a fucking <laughs> I get a, all these videos about the fucking storm. Perfect, prepare yourselves to the end of the world. I'm like, oh no, Alex, why are you freaking me out? <laughs> yeah. I uh yeah, I, I saw. I was on a plane next to a guy yesterday and said that today's a, a big day. That it's it's coming down where the, everyone's gonna f- fucking doubt if the fucking thing collapses or if we get bailed out. Well, apparently there was a big uh, run on the banks today too, and people were showing up at the banks trying to withdraw money, which scares the fuck out of people when that kind of stuff happens. That's how Hitler became fucking prime minister, or whatever dictator. Is he fucking? I've been watching this thing, how to how to make a dictator on uh, Netflix. Have you seen it? It's, oh, it's fucking awesome. I'm so obsessed with history podcasts and history dictators and whatnot. Do you know who Turkmen Bashi is? No. Are you, f- Joe? This is the most fascinating fucking guy in history, right? So Turkmenistan, I think is the name of the country, was part of the USSR, and when the USSR collapsed. He got it. This this guy who was just a premier and worked, you know, uh, he got the whole country. And he went around and changed rules like fucking crazy. He was a, a dictator, but he was like, he added months so that he didn't get old faster. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, I mean, he changed the names of the months. I mean, he was a fucking lunatic. Oh he said, God. you know what? He goes, you know what? Here's the problem. People, old people are losing their teeth because they're not eating enough bones. And they're like, bones? He goes, you ever see a dog with missing teeth? No, because they eat bones. So everyone needs to start eating bones. Does that guy make sense? Oh, my God. Turk Mimbashi. I I, I have this podcast (laughs) that I listen to. It's called The Dictators. And it is one of the most – that one podcast is the most fascinating – Dick, but I get I'm obsessed, man. I listen to Hitler, Stalin. Somebody was talking about the How to Make a Dictator um, documentary on Netflix the other day. Was it? I think it was on the podcast. It might have just been a conversation I was having. Was it on the podcast? Who was it? Do you remember? But they were saying like you might you're you literally like putting up a a guidebook on how to become a dictator. Like it's, people could watch it and figure out how it's done and then replicate it. It's identical, by the way, to how how to get famous. <laughs> I mean, it's the fucking exact same thing. <laughs> You'd be shocked. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't be shocked, though. <laughs> right? Because a lot of famous people become like dictators. It was Stefano, that's what I thought. Yeah, Stefano. Oh, that's oh, right. Oh, he's, yeah. he's a history guy. Oh, he's a real guy. history nut. Like, yeah. he's a history guy. We used to do history hyenas with Giannis. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. Yeah, history is fascinating when you think that it'll never repeat itself again. You know, like, oh, that'll oh. never happen again. Like, I used to think that about war. Oh, we're done with that. You know, and now look. Dude. And the the bank thing is fucking... So what is exactly happening? Is this something we need to be concerned about? They, I watched the news yesterday to find out, and the news said no. Do not worry. Oh, well, then I'm worried. <laughs> now I, I'm fucking worried, because they've been wrong about everything. These cunts. My uncle called me on, in 2008 when uh, when the housing crisis collapsed and he was he was fucking terrified my uncle was one of the smartest dudes i know and he was like this is going to be real bad there was a um house that i used to live in and the next door to me there was a lot that um this guy had bought and he was planning forever to build his dream house it was a nice lot and it had a good view it was beautiful and so uh i would go out there at like two th- it was like 2009, I would go out there and there's this old guy and he would just be raking. And uh, I would see him, I'd wave to him, and then one day I just said, let me go just go talk to that dude, see what's, what's going on. Because it was, you know, are you going to build? Like, what's happening? And he goes, I was going to, but I lost everything. Because that, uh, the 2008 thing, I lost everything. I had plans, I had a house. And so I'm just sitting there with this dude who's probably at the time 70 75 it was the last years of his life and he's just raking this plot of land that was going to be the place for his dream house before the 2008 collapse and he just realized like 
man, the real victims of all that financial malarkey, the real victims of all that fucking corruption and deregulation and all the chaos that led to so many people losing their houses and so many people losing all their money. This fucking guy just raking his thing made me so sad. Tim was, Dillon. Tim Dillon did that to him. Tim Dillon. <laughs> Tim Dillon did to so many people. He's ah, what was I gonna do? Well, if it wasn't, wasn't me, it would be somebody else. <laughs> they were gonna blow it on pills and women anyway. <laughs> He's yeah. the best to get a call from yeah. and go, I love, man. If there's nothing I love more, is like good comedy gossip. Yeah. And the best is Tim going, hey, can I talk to you about that, that, that? And I'm like, yeah. oh, <laughs> my dick gets hard. Let's <laughs> break out the tea. <laughs> he came last night to watch. He, yeah, he was there last night. Yeah. He's the fucking best, man. It was fun last night with all the hanging, too. There's so many people hanging out. Oh, dinner was a fucking blast. Oh, yeah, it was very fun. I mean, I don't think I've ever heard the N word said that much at a <laughs> steak Sam restaurant. Sam and Freddie Gibbs. Yeah. Oh my. Oh yeah. By the way, it was black people saying yes, it. Yeah. <laughs> we should be really clear. I mean, people are like, wow, you went to dinner we with Tim. We should be Tim really Dillon. clear. 